Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video. And today we're going to talk about something that's got a lot of people's feathers riled, including mine a little bit. We're going to go a little dark AJ here. Not super dark AJ. I'm not a Doom poster on like, you know, discords right now talking about the doom and gloom of the game because those Doom posters have existed for, wait, what's the fourth year of the game? So for the last uh, three anniversaries, people have been saying that this is the last one the game will ever have, etc. That's not me, right? Right, that's not who I am. But there are some things that I think could be better or should be better when we get the new hollow VCs that JP just rolled out. Now, I'm gonna be using some info from a Reddit post that I think is a very well written out, well formatted Reddit post. And we're gonna kind of build from there. And I'm gonna build an argument for something that I think should change when it gets to the global version of the game. So that's a lot of words, I've talked a lot. Let's talk, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we go, we're on the War of the Vision subreddit right here. And this is from Notro Roro. So great name and great post. We'll go ahead and uh, hit the upvote button right there. So how much would it cost to build a hollow VC? If you don't know what a hollow VC is yet, let's skip to this. I think this is important info for you to know first. They're basically job vision cards with an additional party buff for specific game modes. Not all, just one specified in their info page. As an example of what we're talking about there, on Wode of Calc here, and I'll try and translate this to English, it worked, you have a new vision card. This is a Zidane's vision card from FF9. So the party effect here, you have elemental chain resist 36, critical hit rate 20, and single target resist 20. Then you have another one critical damage 25 and that's great because if you have critical hit rate and critical damage on a card that card will up the damage of your team a lot but notice that this buff is only on quest maps what that means is this is a pve only buff the hollow buff for this vision card is pve only if you get this thing maxed out you get a pve only critical damage 25 buff that's what they're talking about here on this what are hollow vcs page so eventually there will be ones for arena, for guild battle, and this will really start affecting the meta. Personally for PVE buffs, I'm not even really worried about them as from like power creep and all of that because you can already clear the hardest PVE in this game without even using trust stone shards, right? Like uh, the pug man out there, Spicy Donut makes videos about clearing the hardest PVE in this game, you know, the like the legendary reliquaries without trust stones on his gear sometimes. So if you can do that, I don't think you need an extra critical damage 25 from the vision card. Would it be nice? nice to have? Yes. Is it like a necessary game changing thing? Not yet, because eventually I think you will see a hollow VC that has something like some AOE resist for PVP or some agility for PVP. Once those start coming out, you might be in a different universe here where hollow VCs start becoming like really meta for PVP, which in my case and for a lot of people's cases is the true in game of War of the Visions. The only two VCs we've seen so far are Zidane's one we just looked at, which was critical damage 25. And for the other final fantasy 9 one which is apparently initial ap up three and five percent hp up for again quest only for pve so i'm not even super worried about owning these things yet right like these buffs are nice but they are just for pve okay how much do they cost? Because those that's what this that, what this is really about is the cost of obtaining these and more importantly, the cost of building these things. Because eventually you might want these, especially the ones that you think are important like I was talking about. So here we go. A regular vision card now, a not 90 cost Dark Esper vision card, costs you about 10,000 Vizior to 11.25 Vizior to build, right? You have the step up that costs 10K. You then have to spend a 1,200 150 more Vizior if you build it over the week. And that includes like the bingo boards and all that things. The cost for these hollow VCs in JP, and that's a big point to make in JP right now, is between 23,750 Viz and 27,500 Vizior. So 27.5K Viz if you're massively unlucky. That is a lot more than building an old regular vision card. Now, that is in between the old regular vision cards and what a current Dark Esper costs, because Dark Espers right now are 
game-changingly powerful. You get the Esper and the Vision card. They're often very strong. That is a huge power up to your account. And those can cost, you, you can go full 40K pity to get a Dark Esper VC. So Hollow VCs land in the middle, but in my opinion, they land a little bit too high in the middle. The reason for that is this. You cannot use soul stars on them in JP right now. We'll come back to this post in a minute, but let me show you something about my account first. On my account in the Mog Shop, if we go down to my soul medals, uh, vision stars, I'm sorry, I said soul medals, vision stars in this case, I have 3,389 of these things. These are something I have just come to rely on when it comes to building new VCs in War of the Visions. People want, and let me make this point like loud and clear. What is more fun to pull? A unit or a vision card. It's vi no, it's not vision card. It's units. People want to use their video Vizior. Ashiman, thank you for the resub. Alzers, thank you for the resub. People want to use their viz to pull for units. Vision cards are something we understand we must have because they add that like power to the account. They you know bring your team comps together, but don't make people spend Vizior to build the dang things. I completely understand having a 19,000 pity for hollow VCs as opposed to a 10,000 pity for regular VCs. They're more powerful. I don't think anybody in their right mind thought that they would have the exact same um, pity that regular VCs do, but taking away the ability to use vision stars for those is too much of a kick in the uh kick in the e nuts you know it's a uh, that the, in my internet balls can't take that foot right now if you know what i'm saying baby j's not in the room so here we go the, what am i going to use these things for if not that now i know that like the old vision cards are going to get buffs at some point and maybe hopefully i can use my vision stars for those but there's going to be a lot of veteran players out there spenders of money in the game that do not want to just have twelve thousand vision stars pretty soon there needs to be a reason for me to use these and so i think the fix to the hollow vc problem or whatever the hollow vc grumbling that's happening right now is just let us use vision stars for them just let us use it it's already in the game just allow us to use them and hopefully the um, anger that the JP players have expressed at this will push the developers to make some kind of change before they get to global. I will also point out that right now in the JP version of the game, they are not getting a bingo board for these vision cards, for these hollow VCs. Now, they also don't get bingo boards for other VCs in JP. So we do, they don't. We might get them for hollow VCs. I'll wait and be mad about that if it's something that we get and i'll judge our banners when we get them but it's fairly safe to assume that we're going to get that 19,000 pity because that's just the standard pity now for hollow vcs and if every vc moving forward has a 19,000 pity we either need increased vizior income so we can continue to keep up with our accounts or we'll be forced to be even more narrow with our building and spending more Vizior on vision cards than we do for units. And my big warning to the developers on that front is it's just not fun to spend Vizior pulling vision cards. It's just not fun. And this is a video game, guys. Like this is a game. If you're doing things to the game that make it less fun, don't do that. That is like, it's a straightforward math problem. If this makes less fun equals don't do it. And I get it, you gotta make money. I still spend money on this game, I do. And I know a lot of people who are fans on this game still spend money, but I spend less than I did before. And I want this game to succeed. I have a second career that's built around, this is the game I cover the most. It's the game that I play every day. It's the game that fits my lifestyle. I hate to see what I consider bad choices made in the game. So please undo this bad choice and just give us the vision stars back that's it you can even do the thing developers that you've done before and release a little note that's like oh no we didn't realize vision stars didn't work lol are bad and will people be like oh they knew the whole time they're just really they're just saying that afterwards who cares who cares cover yourself however you got to just put the vision stars back in that's it. That's really all you got to do. And then 
I'll be happy about it. Some other people, look, there's some people who just won't ever be happy about anything, right? Every anniversary since the second one until now, the same people have been posting that this is the last anniversary the game will ever see. And those people are here the next anniversary to post the exact same thing again, because those people have some like mental illness that prevents them from quitting the game that they apparently hate. The only way they'll quit is if they're the last person to quit, I guess. So they have to try to drive everyone else away. If I just described you, go do something else with your life, quit this game. But devs, listen, listen, make people like me happy, make people like your other, you know, longtime customers of this game happy and return the vision stars. I think it's an easy, elegant fix to this problem. And hey, come on, come on. You can do that for me, right? Right? Thank you, Intern Coon. Just accidentally enable that and then never disable it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. That's kind of my thoughts on the Hollow VC thing. Let me know what you think in the chat. And uh, yeah, see y'all next time. Peace.